Hi guys, Animon21 here and today I'm gonna do a review and unboxing of the GB Boy Color, which is a Chinese clone of the Game Boy Color. Let's get it on. So first of all we are gonna start with the unboxing of the GB Boy Color. The box itself is really nice made. It has all the color versions of the GB Boy Color on the side, a little instruction on the back, and it says on the back that it has a, a front lit screen which makes it much better but it's actually a back lit screen so it's really really nice because it is actually kind of impossible to get a backlit screen in the original Game Boy Color so I think this is a reason to buy this one because it has a backlit screen then it also says right here it has 32,000 colors I don't know if this is real or not but it sounds good so let's start with the unboxing of the GB Boy Color Okay, there's some paper in here, paper and cardboard, okay, get it out, come on, come out, there it is. Okay, so here we have the console itself, put that on the side, and here we have instruction manuals, yoohoo, some complete Chinese things. Okay, so it's all in Chinese. I can't read anything, but... I mean, hey, let's just throw this aside. This seems to be some kind of warranty stuff. And let's take a look at the GB Boy Color. First I have to get it out of the plastic. There we go. There also is a screen protector installed, but I'm leaving it on because this Chinese plastic get scratched really really easy and I don't want to have it damaged because I mean it still costs thirty dollars so but this is really nice made the plastic doesn't feel that cheap it feels actually good Let's just throw some batteries in here one and two so on the package it said it has 66 games in one built into it so let's see if that's actually true are there built-in games there are okay that's a little weird right here it says 188 games in one and on the package it says 66 games in one but I think there are actually only 66 games and they repeat all over again right Take a look. Pac-Man on the front. There was Mario and Contra. Uh, yes, Space Invaders, Asteroids, Battle City. One of my favorite games. Well, it's just a couple original Game Boy games. No Game Boy Color games. There are just a couple of original Game Boy games on here. Okay. So let's skip back to one, come on, there we go. Let's start it up and see how great the games look. So this is Super Mario Land here. Seems to work. But I found out about one issue this thing has. This is the audio. The fourth audio channel is missing and I will demonstrate this right now when I get through this shitty level. I already noticed it here on this music but on the star music you really start to notice it. Cause it just sounds off. It sounds awful and shitty. Let me show you this. First I'm gonna show it to you on the real Game Boy Color and then on the GB Boy Color. So let me show you the problem with the audio real quick. This is the original star music. How it sounds like on the Game Boy.
And now I'm gonna show you what it sounds like without the fourth audio channel. I mean, it's not that bad that you can play it, but it's definitely noticeable and it just it just sounds strange if you know how the original music sound and I mean, it's not a problem with the ROM on the GB Boy Color. Every game, also the cartridges you plug in the back, will miss the fourth audio channel, so I guess that's a downside to this thing. But, I mean, the backlit screen is really, really nice. So, I would say get this thing, because of the backlit screen, just forget about the audio. It's not that important, but the screen is important. Remember this. So, right now, I'm gonna do a screen comparison of the GB Boy Color and the original Game Boy Color. So, I have two Pokemon Blue games inside of these two Game Boys, or inside of the GB Boy and the original Game Boy. One of them is in a Pokemon Silver case, but that doesn't matter that much. So, let's see. Just gonna turn the audio off to a real Game Boy or it sounds like crazy. So there you go. I mean this this black bar right here was just a glitch of the Pokemon Blue game because this one in the silver case is a bit broken, but you can clearly notice the difference. This right here is a reflective screen, which means it reflects the light around you to make the image uh, to light up the image so you also can't backload this screen cause there's no light shining through the LCD from the back but this one is a camcorder LCD of some sort cause it has a weird uh, sub pixeling which means it's basically from some cheap Chinese camcorder but it looks really really good I have to say. There's just the audio problem, but the GB Boy itself is perfect for like Game Boy Color games. There also is infrared on the top, but this infrared is fake, so it doesn't work, but the link port works. I tested it out and it works fine. But it just has the link cable port of the uh, of the Game Boy of the original Game Boy, I believe, because it looks a bit different than this one, but it does work. I did test it and it does work. Oh my goodness, the screen glitching on this game gets even worse. Let me just prove real quick that Game Boy Color games also work on the GB Boy. There you go, and I'm on 21. And you got your Super Mario Bros. Why don't we just play a bit? Let's try this one. Let me just play some original Mario Bros. For some reason. No, no, no! Fuck this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Haven't played the original Mario game for years. I mean, not years, but like a couple months. I also didn't take the fire flower back there and I died okay let's forget about this but it does play real Game Boy Color games and another thing I wanna say is if you put in a original Game Boy game you can use the d-pad to change the color palette on it like on the original Game Boy Color so you can just do like d-pad to the left for example to get like a different color palette. And the color palettes are the same as on the original Game Boy Color. So it's actually it's basically just a Game Boy Color with a better screen. But I mean it's 
is still a Chinese product. Mine one was broken once because there's a tiny little lever in here, right there, that tells the Game Boy if you put in a cartridge or if it doesn't have a cartridge. If it doesn't have a cartridge, it starts from this internal cartridge up here where the internal ROMs are on. So this lever was broken on mine, so I just couldn't play cartridge games anymore and I had to put in a new one which cost me about two dollars or two two euros here in Austria but well I don't I won't say it lasts so long but it works and it works really really good So, what are my final thoughts on the GB Boy Color? I think it's a really nice product. It is the best backlit Game Boy you can get under a hundred dollars because I mean, there are people that build like Game Boy Advance screens into Game Boy Colors and then sell them for like 200, 300 bucks, which is way too much for a good Game Boy Color. I would say, well, even if the aspect ratio is a little bit off and the audio is a little bit funky, it is the best backlit Game Boy you can get under a hundred bucks. Because you can get it for thirty bucks. So I would say, go out, buy this thing, it's the best Game Boy Color you can get right now for a cheap price. So mine one cost me thirty dollars, which is definitely not much for a good Game Boy Color so I would just say go out buy this Game Boy Color it's insane what you get for the price and I mean there are also some internal games but I never really played the internal games you built in games on this thing I just like putting my old cartridges in and then just play them with a nice screen so See you in the next video, in the next unboxing or next retro gaming video. And I have to say, goodbye. Just wanna try this Mario level again. Damn it. Yeah.